Hi everyone, it's Terry from the Gypsy Magpie and I'm here today for the Graphic Fairies Tag Team Friday. Today I am sharing a butterfly tag that is mostly made out of things from the Lepidopterist bundle. Um, I love butterflies and she's got all kinds of butterflies on the site, uh, but there are a couple butterfly specific bundles that she's got. So I had fun with this one. I like to make things that have a little bit of dimension and butterflies lend themselves to that perfectly. So it's just, it's on a tag. Um, the background of the tag, kind the design kind of fades into the overall design, but you'll see when we um, work on the base, it's actually um, a wing of butterfly. It, it's a diagram of butterfly wing. So I thought that was a cool thing to use. And she's got some, oh my gosh, there are probably a hundred different butterflies throughout all of the bundles. Um, here I just picked three. I picked them specifically for their color. And then she's got some little specimen tags in the Lepidopterus bundle. Um, I've actually used the little specimen tags for all kinds of things. They're perfect for dates on um, journaling pages. So um, this is what we're gonna make. It didn't take anything special other than printer, um, a little bit of adhesive, some foam tape, and kind of like your basics, your scissors, your distress ink. So let's get started. Um, the base of this tag is three and a half inches wide by seven inches tall and I'll scoot that one over here. All you have to do is angle off um, uh, the, the top corners. If you've got a corner rounder, that finishes off a tag really nicely. Uh, this design is actually a combination of two different things. Originally, I wanted to, to just use this. Um, and I started out with that, but it was it was just a little bit plain. So I got the idea to double print. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever done that, but it's always a fun thing to do. What I did was, first I printed this, and this again came from the Lepidopterist bundle. And this is just um, a handwritten label. And so I printed this, and then I for my printer, I needed to flip it over and send it back through. Everyone's printer is a little bit different, so you'll have to know how yours works. But I sent it back through with the butterfly wing diagram, and that's what I ended up with, and I loved it. Um, I also really like to print on craft paper. So that's what the tag base is made out of. I've gone ahead and I've got us started here. There's a hole at the top. Um, I really like to use eyelets. I don't know if you can really see it here, but it adds a nice finishing touch. Um, there are all kinds of ways to do eyelets, but if you happen to have one of these old crocodiles, and you can set it up for that, you just give it a good squeeze, and your eyelet is set. I love the way that looks. So that's the base. It already looks really nice because of that double printing. Um, for the butterflies and the labels, the specimen labels print out on a PDF and you get an entire sheet of them. So like I said, they're great for dates and uh, captions on traveler notebook, traveler's notebook pages. So I've been using those quite a bit. Um, also her butterflies, I print mine off just as wallet size. So they're approximately two and a half inch by three and a half inch. You could print just the three that you're gonna make the tag with. Um, I use butterflies everywhere, so I never mind having a whole stack of them. When I sit and watch TV at night, I cut the rest of them out so that when I want to use them, they're ready to go. And all I did was use a little bit of distress ink around the edges once I fussy cut the butterflies. So, that's what we're going to add to the tag after we add the labels. Um, I went ahead and I just, I looked up her description of the butterflies on the bundle so that I could get the correct name. If you didn't know, 
what they were. You can make something that no one is going to know. I added a little bit of dimension here with a tiny bit of chipboard and some foam tape. Um, I am using this black foam tape. I forget who makes it, but man, this is good, good sticky stuff. So all I did was just kind of eyeball it. And I'm gonna stick those down. And I'm letting the edge of it hang off. I like to do that whenever I can on projects, just for a, another layer of interest, I guess you could say. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I know I need to get three of them on here. So let me, there we go. And like I said earlier, a lot of this, um, the diagram of the butterfly wing gets covered up, but it's just so cool looking. I'm, I'm glad it's there. So on the back of the butterflies, all I've done is put a tiny little, I had to cut it kind of narrow, but I used a little bit of that foam tape just along the body. And all I wanted to do was give that a tiny bit of dimension so that it stands up on this specimen tag. And she, like I said, she has got a ton of butterflies. So you could do this in any different, any colorway that you wanted. You also didn't have to print on craft. If you don't love the look of the brown craft paper, you could print on just kind of like a creamy white or even a white. Um, if you have a printed scrap of paper that's got a very, very faint kind of an all over pattern, you can also cut that to eight and a half by 11 and run that through your printer. And sometimes that's really fun to do. Um, it's also fun to run sheet music or dictionary paper through with something that's gonna print really colorfully like a big bundle of flowers or butterflies or birds. Those all look really great printed on book print or um, sheet music. So you can see basically the tag is just about done. All I'm going to add to that is a bow up on the very top. This is just, um, it's cheesecloth, but it's dyed in colors. You don't have to dye it yourself anymore. You can grab this. It's in the wedding section. I don't actually know what people do with this. Maybe they put it over tables or something. But it comes in, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 colors at the craft store. And you get enough to last a lifetime. So I just snip strips off of it. And I've been using it mostly just as kind of a little textural accent wherever I want one that's got a little bit of color. So all I'm going to do is tie that on in a really crappy knot on the top. Nothing, nothing fancy at all. And it's it frays, which to me is the beauty of it. Um, I'm going to fuss with this a little bit later and I will probably end up cutting this shorter and pulling the edges so that it can fray out a little bit. But you fluff up the butterfly's wings and you've got all your dimension and it was just that quick. I had a great time making these and I'm probably, I'm gonna make another set of them. Um, I was thinking Halloween colors and then I thought, oh, some really pretty springtime colors would be nice. So, I'm not done with this project yet. It's something that I will probably kind of reinvent again and again. Um, you can't go wrong with butterflies. So I hope you'll give it a try and check back for the next Tag Team Friday and see what we've got in store. Happy crafting.